Well, hello again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can use clustering algorithms from the Weka API in our Java source code. Um, the idea of clustering, in case you uh, have not come across it before, is that we try to automatically find groups uh, amongst instances or amongst examples of data. So we try to automatically group instances. The grouping is normally done via a similarity measure, most commonly using the Euclidean distance, so measuring distance between uh, 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 different instances and then deciding whether they should belong to the same group or cluster or not. <clears throat> now, the, uh, by the way, uh, regarding clustering, I have three or four videos. If you look them up on my YouTube channel, I have an explanation of what clustering is and an explanation of a couple of cluster clustering algorithms. Now, the one that I'm going to use here from Weka is called Simple K means clustering algorithm. What it does, it clusters data using the K means algorithm and so on and so forth. It's quite easy to understand and quite easy to implement. Valid options are we can specify the number of clusters, although the default is two. Um, <coughs> we can uh, specify the initialization method. One important uh, um, a parameter or option is the distance function that we can use. I mentioned in the slide that uh, the most common one is Euclidean distance, but we can use other ones as well. And then number of iterations and so forth and so on and so forth. What we can do is we can have a look at the methods and then we'll find the set methods to set number of clusters, set uh, uh, distance function and things like that. So, as usual, we need to have a look at the documentation, get familiar with the uh, 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 methods there, and then we can use them immediately. Now, going immediately to the code, here I just import, as usual, the required classes. I um, um, import class evaluation. I'll show you how to use that. And then simple k-means, we load the source data set or the training data set. We create the model here, the object, simple k-means. And then we can set the number of clusters. As we mentioned before, the default is two. Um, we can also set the distance function. So you notice now we pass it a new object of type Manhattan distance. The default one is Euclidean distance, so we don't, have, we don't have to set it. But in case we need to change it, that's how we do it. And then we just create the model. We build the cluster, model build, build cluster, we pass it the data, just like when we built classifier. And then we can print out the actual model, the actual details of the cluster. Um, in case we want to classify new instances or want, we want to cluster new instances, then before we've seen classify instance, now we have a method called cluster instance. We pass it the instance and what it does, it clusters the instance and returns the cluster number as int. So it just returns the index of the cluster, right? the cluster number as an integer value. In case we want to have a look at probabilities, you know, the probabilities of uh, the new instance you know, belonging to the different clusters that we have, then we can use the method distribution for instance. What it does, it returns an array containing the estimated membership probabilities of the test instance in each cluster. So, so this is very, very useful actually to get the uh, membership probabilities as an array of doubles, as you can see. Uh, to evaluate a cluster, we can use cluster evaluation like we did before for the cl for the classification algorithms or for the classifiers and regression algorithms. Cluster evaluation, CLS eval equals new cluster evaluation. We load our test set now. I just have here the weather nominal here where the test, we, I've just played around with the instances and with the classes just to make it work. We get the instance object for the test data set and then we just say we set the cluster for our cluster evaluation object, and then we say evaluate cluster. Uh, we can also do uh, tenfold cross validation if we want, but this is just normal uh, evaluation using the data set. And maybe we can print out, for example, something like the number of clusters. So if I run this, just execute, and then you can see this is the model I printed out, which is uh, here. So these are the details of the clusters and then number of clusters is four so zero one three four so here if we for example use cluster instance then it returns zero one three or 
for. Another useful um, clustering algorithm is the EM cluster if we if you're interested. So um, <coughs> the package is um, weka dot clusters and then dot em if you want if you want to read more about it. Yep. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.